Hello everyone, Mike Starang here. It's been a while. Sorry for not uh, communicating about my plans. Been kind of burned out on this game and uh, uploading it also in general. It just kind of felt like a chore, so I just kind of took a break from it. Um, but there are some there's some new mods, or actually some old mods. A lot of these mods are from a pack of of mods that um, that were in an earlier version of the game, I guess. So let's try some of them out. Um, so yeah, I figure I'll uh, come back to uploading stuff. I can't promise a consistent. Oh, hello. So this mod, well, I can't promise a consistent schedule. But I will at least try out the newest set of mods and then probably start uploading a different game. So it looks like this mod is kind of similar to one of the challenges in like a different one of like the challenge modes in a different mod where you where you can't read where you have a limited supply of ammo. So we'll just play on rank one. And it looks like we have four shells. So we gotta make them count. And. Okay, cool. Level one complete. Move range, sure. Scouting, sure. Didn't this used to give three pawns? I don't even remember. It's been so long. Uh, well, I definitely don't care about my range stat too much because I need to be close to the king to be able to shoot him. I want to be shooting other pieces as little as possible. Um, I don't know. Unfaithful Steed seems pretty decent. Ah, yes. And I, it combined with a card that removes the only knight on the board. It's fine. I'm playing on rank one. I definitely have enough firepower to win this with the limited ammo that I have. Oh, look. Ravenous rats. Pretty good. Um, I don't care too much about the spears. I mean, I kind of care about the spears, but I also care about the pawns getting more health. Taunting hop. Oh, okay. Yeah, this mod, of course, should alter every card that can do every repeatable source of damage to not be able to do damage. So Taunting Hop does zero. It should still be really good, though, because I can jump over pawns and stuff. So. Alright, so far so good. Well, Wand of Wrath is a no-brainer. I can Wand of Wrath to delete the queen. Look at that. Because I have so much firepower with this Victoria. Man, what a good shotgun. All right, let's get rid of this bishop and this pawn. And do I have the accuracy to take that shot? Not really, but there we go, that works. And I wonder, how, I wonder if cards that give you more ammo were just removed in general. Remove a rook, add five pawns. I don't want to add too many pawns, but at the same time, I can just hop over the pawns. So maybe it's fine. A flip card if your shotgun has been reloaded. Okay, that's actually like I'm never going to be able to reload my shotgun because of the nature of this challenge. So Welcome Gift is just like the perfect card to have in this challenge. Alright, get out of here. Wow, what an easy game. Okay. Is it secret ending time? I think it's secret ending time. Only got to get a theocracy and we'll be good. And we have to be able to survive a boss. Surviving a boss fight with limited ammo is going to be a challenge. Alright, you know what? Just get out of here. Annoying queen. <laughs> Queen's not that annoying because I can just use my delete key on her. You know, Egotic Maelstrom is interesting because 
it gives me, uh, you know, it gives me unlimited damage. As long as I'm willing to wait an arbitrary number of turns. I don't actually remember how much health the boss has. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. I'm expecting that some kind of increase to my damage potential will be necessary. Uh, Sawed Off gives me even more damage. That's cool. <laughs> Charge five additional shells. Okay, that seems a little overpowered. I think... Hmm. Now, I think it'll be too easy if I take it. Let's just take Sawed Off Justice, which will also be very strong. But having five extra shells... Um, let's just get rid of this. Up, oh, we don't want to recoil into the. There we go. And oh, we angle our shot like that. Cool. <laughs> Look, Iron Maiden. No, thank you. Okay, neither of these choices are great, but... That's alright. Yeah, we're adding three pawns, and no big deal. We might have to use... Um... Well, I don't know. Who cares? I could use a bullet or two. Let's also just get rid of this queen. Yeah, use one bullet to to clear out um... oh my goodness use one bullet to clear out the um... a, a, a column yes okay yeah so this gives instead of giving plus one ammo it gives plus one shell charge that makes a lot of sense Um, I don't want to add a queen. Oh, nope, we're not taking shortage. Okay, well, that was easy. Alright. Easy choice. Sometimes it really is that simple. You just don't take the card that will cause you to lose. I feel pretty silly having taken Unfaithful Steed while simultaneously... Oh, Bloodless Coup. Yes, please. Well, it looks like we're not getting a secret ending, but that's okay. That Bloodless Coup is pretty sweet with Taunting Hop and these, um... Is this enough damage? Yes. Yeah, Bloodless Coup is a nice way to turn off sp Spear Pawns. Alright. You got 24 health? Well, I can do 24. I can do much more than 24 damage. I can do 24 damage in three shots. Or, I guess since I... Oh, wait, I have Bloodless Coup. I don't need to... I was like, how am I going to clear out pawns? Don't need to. So I could play that at a higher rank than rank one, but... Nah. Okay, well let's let's try the next one. That's pretty short. Let's do Blitz. I expect that to be even shorter. Free ammo and faster pieces. Faster speed. Let's play it on. We're not we're not going to play it on easy mode because we're playing on rank one. Like we don't need to be we don't need to be on rank one and on easy mode. All right, what is this? Um, I can't really tell what's going on right now. Is it gonna be? Is it gonna be like that challenge where I had a time limit and I didn't even know that I had a time limit? Oh, okay. Wow, these these blackguard choices are not great. Um, 
I'll take August presence because if pieces are moving every turn, August presence will make it a little easier. Well, oh. wow. Okay, it'll make it easier to deal with uh, bishops, rooks, and the other pieces. Queens, yes. Uh, uh, we just barely got out of the corner. Oh, wait, you can just... Yeah, just shoot him. It's that simple. Ooh, make all pieces slower? Hmm, does that, does that ruin the whole point of the challenge if the pieces aren't moving every turn? I don't think so. Yeah, now these pieces are moving every other turn. Yeah, let's 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 charge some shells in our gun, I guess. Okay. Ah, perfect. The uh, the bishop was blocking the rook. This is pretty similar to the challenge in. Well, there was that like compilation of shoot what was the mod called where you a a after the first floor you had nine different choices and one of the cards was like all the pieces move every turn oh but you also would get loafers and um i don't think uh, you'd also get loafers and sacred crown or something like that um yeah you got a maelstrom with pieces moving so fast i don't i don't know if that's Particularly good. Oh, thank goodness the Victoria is so busted. <laughs> just to uh, just kill something from two squares away. No problem. Alright. There's a there's a few other there's a few other old mods. So it'll take me. Oh, all the pieces are getting minus one speed either way. Do I want to add a whole bunch of pieces, or do I want to give pieces more health? I like being able to one shot stuff, and I will lose the ability to one shot rooks if I take the armor. If I remember correctly, there was like a half dozen. Like a list of a half dozen mods in in the the mod anthology or whatever. So I'll 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 show off each of those over the next week or so, and then I don't know. I'll figure out something else to do after I'm done with that. It might be just playing a different game after I test out all of the mods. Shotgun King Extra got an update. Dark Forest got an update. I'll, I'll try out those updated mods. That'll be that'll be fun. Both uh, both of those mods have been a lot of fun to play. Um, I, I do remember Courteous Jassing being kind of good. Anything, anything with the phrase "extra turn" on it is uh, generally good. All right, well, it's a guaranteed. Yeah, there we go. Force feeding a whole bunch of shells into your gun is actually, it's actually pretty effective. Like force feeding, I remember having a very negative opinion of force feeding when I first saw it and now I have kind of a not quite as negative opinion of the card. Hey we get to play with no king. Golden aging with guillotine. Okay. Let's just take a high focus because high focus is really good. Look at that. I can I can comfortably shoot pieces that are four squares away. That's 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 really impressive. All right, let's just. All right. Well. 
Yeah, we do six damage total. It means we could kill two knights in one shot, and I don't want to do that because uh, then I, I you don't get two extra turns if you kill two knights in one turn. Um, yeah, I don't need to gun down every piece on the board. I can just go after the king. Ew, karma. Okay, but backups come sooner? Yeah, but there are no backups yet. Alright. So, no matter what I shoot at, I'm gonna get an extra turn, or no, no matter, like... My gun is so accurate that I can hit knights very easily, is what I'm saying. Uh, we have six damage, so there's no way that we're gonna kill both of those bishops. And, alright, let's move out of the way. I should have moved to a dark square because that's a dark, a light square position. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to get a queen soul. It's going to be hard to do. I mean, it's not going to be ridiculously. Uh, it's. Uh, should have aimed a little more to the right. Alright, well, Ravenous Rats is pretty fun. And I also like not increasing my fire arc. So we'll, uh... This is a lot of pieces on the board. Oh yeah, because I took Revolution. Okay. Oh yeah, Revolution and two quarts of the king. Alright. That does explain... How so many pieces found their way onto the board. This is just giving memories of playing Shotgun King Extra at rank, you know, 20 plus, 30 plus. I guess the ranks higher than 30 were easier than rank 30, but still. Alright, let's just get out of this level. And the rat for the finishing blow. Um, I don't know, I like shooting stuff, so I'm not taking Bushido. Plus one ammo max? Minus one ammo max, so it cancels out. Okay, extra turns are pretty sweet. Alright, we got... Nine more turns on the Queen's Poison. <laughs> the, the Queen's Poison. The Poison chosen specifically for the Queen. Uh, I don't. I don't remember the. I don't remember the movie well enough. Uh, you know, it's the the Emperor's new groove where there's like the the part where the guy's talking about the poison for for Cusco. <laughs> I was hoping to get the get some damage on the bishop. More damage on the bishop. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, sure. We'll take golden aging and gender queer. We add another queen, but we make the queen slower. Oh yeah, I'd forgotten that this card was changed. It was buffed. Is this mod using old versions of cards? Because golden aging gives a speed penalty to the... Or it gives a health penalty to the king and queen. That's the modern version. Pretty sure. Alright, let's, let's get off the, the rook's file. And make sure nothing... Make sure we don't cause something unnecessarily to go wrong. All right. Yeah, shooting some, shooting some horses. Well, they're they're people riding horses, presumably. If they were just horses. I wouldn't want to shoot them. Uh, 
Alright. Uh, let's just let's just clear everything out. What mod was I playing? Oh, I was playing. Yeah, it was play the 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 mod was Blitz, where it gave gave me this card that makes all the pieces faster, <laughs> and I took two cards that make all the pieces slower, so I went back to normal and just added a whole bunch of pieces. Yeah, what a time to be alive. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> oh my goodness, this game's too hard. Um. Whoops! Turns out even on rank one, you can you can throw the game if you try hard enough. And I have two knight souls. Imagine if I had a queen or rook soul, then I would probably be okay. But yeah, so we got a, we got some other mods to try out. Let's uh, let's look at a list of mods. Um, okay. Something. Dam Dam glaze gaze. Okay, that's one. Oh, yeah, the Dark Forest mod again. I am going to check that out again. Die to win. What do you do in that mod? <laughs> Gem King. Okay, that's three. High Focus, that's four. Jump and Hop, that's five. Okay, so there are five old mods. Or, like, restyled old mods. And, you know, Dark Forest and Extra that I'm going to try again. So, that'll... Yeah, so I'll, I'll try those out. Um, I'm gonna try out all the old mods and then, you know, and then take another look at Shock and King Extra and Dark Forest. But until then, um, thanks for watching. I, I can't commit to uh, uploading a video every day, but you know, I'll get I'll get through all of those and then I'll think of something else to do afterward. Um, yeah, I've had I've had fun. I've been having fun with some other games, so I'll, I'll stream some other games, or upload some other games, whatever. But yeah, until then, well, yeah, thank thanks for watching and thanks for uh, being moral support and all that. And we'll see you next time.